I'm actually looking for talent. You know, my channel's growing, my business is growing, and I want to invest in a team. Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. Did I scare you? Sorry. For everyone new, my name is Jade Dharma Wangza. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We're gonna, it's a vlog. It's gonna be a vlog today. I'm sorry. If you guys are like really displeased with my personal life and you're only here for, like, Jade, I'm here for Instagram bullshit. Like, fine, but I also like to talk about the mindset behind, you know, growing on Instagram And I like to talk about myself I'm just kidding So I will talk to you guys about how my day is in regards to being like a high school dropout And I just filmed a YouTube video back there you saw, so I'll link that video below But today we're gonna get coffee first Coffee Okay, chains of plans, um, my mom accidentally washed my jacket which had my airpods in it so let's see if it still works the light's still on i'm so scared you guys my airpods are my life please work please work please work please <gasps> oh my god it still works okay 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 it still works wow this is so cool this might be really weird but why do the airpods sound better when they're washed what the f it sounds so much better am i screaming so I just realized you guys probably don't know, but I'm pretty I'm close with a couple entrepreneurs in just this area of like you know marketing and social media, and I just realized I'm making so much less money than everyone else. I'm just not a person that wants to bullshit you guys. Like I really don't have a passion for making something that I know won't help you. And like I am taking so much time, like my blood, sweat, and tears into making a app. That's like not even the course. It's like fucking next level shit, okay? Anyways, you guys are pretty pumped about it. I am too. It's just so much energy. And I realize that I don't have much money. I really don't. I make money, you guys. You guys know I'm not smart with money. But I feel like there's not a lot of female entrepreneurs out there. So I feel kind of lonely. Whenever I'm in like a male-dominated industry, I just kind of feel left out. But that's not an excuse. So my little thing is I really do Let me just go to... Okay, let me do that. I just realized I am leaving extreme amounts of money on the table. I don't know if that's stupid. In my eyes, I feel like I have a lot of love and I can put out a product like my app that will get a lot of money just because you know I believe in jab jab right hook and if you give a lot you'll get a lot but that's not my intention for everyone wondering if I'm selling something the answer is no I don't really want you guys to buy anything you can support my app if you want to learn more you genuinely like to buy something then you can purchase my products and coaching and whatever I just realized that I'm leaving so much money on the table I could put out a course and make money but I don't know why these are the things that run through my head and I don't know if you know this that on my channel I haven't sold anything maybe this is stupid I need to monetize sooner because you guys know content distribution monetization is the key thing to make sure you're always moving if money is not being circulated in your career you, you won't be able to grow so you have to always circulate new money <sighs> So I'm at the coffee place. I was really having a deep conversation with myself. Like you guys really don't know who I am or where I came from. I came from my mother's room, but that's besides the fact. I come from like an entrepreneurship like household. Basically sales people, sales people sell. I'm teaching people how to sell, yeah, I'm not selling. Like if you guys connect the dots, like I feel like it's a little bit stupid of me. I'm such a nice person. I would never like want someone to like, you know, get on my course and like, you know, do this and like just buy my shit. For a reason, I never understood why because now I'm looking back and I'm like, I make money, but I'm not profiting. And it's so hard because I spend my blood, sweat and tears into this shit. By the way, I'm super thankful. So incredibly thankful. You know, 20,000 subscribers. I'm like, what the f am I doing with that? So I understand why I haven't been selling. And I've understood why I'm losing so much money. It's because I'm trying to do it for long term legacy. So for everyone wondering, yes, I'm freaking broke all the time. The best iced coffee ever. 10 out of 10. It's currently 5 p.m. I got so much stuff done. I got a lot of emails out. I got my presentation done. You guys know I'm building an app. I am so excited. I don't know if I said this before. The app is going to be launching in summer. Now, I have a test group, and I think we're at the point where I have so much work to do, but I can't do it all. So I really want to take one of you guys, if you have what it takes, to be my assistant or my apprentice. My dad is calling me. What the f***? Hello? As I was rudely interrupted. Ah! meeting right now this is why i need an assistant i don't know i have a meeting right okay i have to take a call right now i have a long sleeve and i i haven't had a tank top so maybe i need a tank top for summer okay well let's yeah look on the website and pick out 
potential rev share opportunity guys i need to start monetizing my content okay so we're gonna chat so you guys i want you to know one of the biggest things i believe in is when you're looking for collaborations for example when you're asking people to collab and they're a lot bigger than you they're gonna say screw you they're gonna reject you and it's gonna hurt you i'm not trying to self-plug but in general working with someone in the industry you want to go into not because it's gonna i don't know like you're gonna get lots of money but you're gonna get so much more experience which is worth more money and i feel like that's the best way to get into the industry without out buying a course or something it's just to work along someone that you want to be in the industry with right so if you would like guys and you are up for like a good challenge I'm actually looking for talent you know my channel is growing my business is growing and I want to invest in a team so I know people already begging to be my assistant and I'm like okay like let me think about this so I have a few people already wanting to be in the circle of being on my team and when I say team I mean video editors particularly someone who is also good at you know content and uploading photos and replying to my emails stuff like that and you know working alongside me attending my meetings you can you have my personal number we're basically gonna be best friends the idea is when I'm looking for an assistant I will be a little bit more critical I have to see commitment I will put the description box how you can submit your resume to me it's gonna be a hi at jdarmawangsaw.com and I'll get back to you shortly just email me on why you should be my assistant I don't have that much you guys know I would love to see a trial run first and then from there we typically I talk to my team so I'm looking for someone to help me manage you know grow I'm also looking for people that are have good video editing experiences because we need all the content we can get so you know I'm taking brand deals I'm really investing in team and spending time and if you just want to work close alongside me if you want to see the ins and outs of this industry how to really grow on social media and the keyword is commitment and really diligent you know work ethic I would love to meet you and you know have you guys on and we'll see how that runs for the first couple weeks And that's where we go from there There's not really much like set in stone because I have to see a trial run and then I'll send you more information after if this was really long and winded just let <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right all right. Okay, so like I'm at the mall right now. I have a gift card. I kind of, you know, when you have a gift card and you don't want to spend money, but you kind of have to. Anyways, I have a gift card to PacSun. Also, I had a call with a brand earlier. You saw that. And I realized there's a lot of things that we don't realize that brands actually look for. I don't know if you guys noticed, and I have to make a video about this, but brands don't care about how many followers you have. Like they literally in the call, it was nothing, nothing about like how many followers do you have? Like what are the other brands? Uh, they were asking actually more for uh, Instagram story viewers, like whatever we think of our heads like why do we need like 10,000 followers like I think it's not even for brand motion that's just for people to feel better about themselves like a lot of the things we do to grow has no relevance to what we actually want and the faster you realize that what actual business is it's not how many freaking followers you have and I will get into that but I just realized brands don't care about how many followers you have so I do teach a lot about that but I also teach a lot how to build real fans anyways I just left them all with more than expected uh, okay but story time I just want to let you guys know on a little bit of facts so you might have not been here from the very beginning but like literally I was so broke like I had no money I would like fashion but you know I have to link below the video I was literally like in saying to the camera like man like I wish I had money but if I wait a little longer, I can buy it with more money. <laughs> and it's not too long ago, but like I'm so thankful YouTube and you guys have been supporting my dreams and you guys are here with me. I'm just so thankful because I'm not trying to brag. You know what? F disclaimers. Brands just come up to me now. And it's a type of brands that I've never thought I would work with in my life. And it's crazy because my goal was to work with brands. It was just me helping people. Like that was my strategy. But the outcome has been so positive and I'm getting to work with people that I love and I have to announce them soon. You probably don't know even to talk about, but let's just say my email inbox has been going crazy and you have to see what's going on like I want to share all this stuff and the more you know transparent way the brands that I used to love are the ones that want to work with me now and I'm overwhelmed because they're paying me to talk about them and I'm not used to that just because which is it's a good thing it's a good problem to have so just remember to focus on the right thing it's not about followers at all it's not about how to get to your first 10k and swipe up feature it's nothing like that it's really building a core audience by solving people's problem and milking it down with some of my content of course it's just all it's just about milking and solving problems that's it you just milk solve another problem milk solve another problem if you don't know what I'm talking about you think I'm psycho but I will link a video below probably that will explain it better I'm out of breath okay what? Sometimes I'm back home it's a lot later I forgot to end the vlog I was just uploading a video working you know the sh
I'll catch you guys in the next one. I want to let you know tomorrow is going to be an exciting day for me. I bought a bus ticket to Seattle for this weekend. Yeah, that's right. A bus ticket. Okay. We're trying to save money here. And I got some studio time in. It's a lot of money, but I really believe in this. And tomorrow I have a phone call with a really important company called Vero. Sorry, I don't think I'm supposed to say this out loud, but I uh, thought I'd share it here. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I never mentioned to you guys. But yeah, important phone call meeting tomorrow. I love you guys so much much darwin nation you are my life i love you all shout out to the winner. comment on this post to be featured in the next episode you freaking rock okay let's celebrate catch you guys in the next one goodbye